Today we'll be working with Josie on some different kettlebell sport lifts. First up, kettlebell single arm cleans. So to start your single arm kettlebell clean, you want your kettlebell one arm's length in front of you. You'll sit down into that right stand, butt push back, knee slightly bent. Arm will reach forward with the starting side. You're going to take the bell, swing between the legs like a pendulum or that grandfather clock. The opposite arm can with you with that as well. And we'll swing through, come up. And as we go through our clean, similar to our dumbbell or our kettlebell strip clean, we're going to push that hand into the bell as a pull back. Let go, we'll pop it off the shoulder, go through that one arm swing, and catch a knee. Perfect. So we'll go through, push that hand in. That push in the hand stops us from whacking ourselves with the bell, and we catch in that rack position with your elbow tucked into the body. Then we'll try the other side. Tucking that elbow in towards our body and then catching in that rack in between the forearm and the shoulder. Wonderful. Lift number two, we'll be going through our strict clean and press, or in kettlebell sport, we call it our long cycle press. Same starting position, bells at one arm length in front. We swing, clean up, just like we worked on, bring that elbow in right above the hip bone. And then with our legs straight locked up, we're going to press that kettlebell up overhead, catching on the shoulder. Swing through, clean, and straight up overhead. So as we go through the toe seat, she'll bring that bell swing in between for her clean. Legs stay straight, and then we press up overhead. That's okay, that's why we do lots of reps, we have multiple stances. Legs straight, up overhead, good. Awesome, and then she'll do the other side. And up overhead. Clean. We shoot the hand through the catch in that rack position. Up over top. Wonderful. One more here. Good. And we'll always do sessions we're new to kettlebell sport. Lots of times that kettlebell is going to come and thunk against the back of the wrist. You might hold on a little too long and it drops. We want to work on having a loose grip with our kettlebell, which will come the more we lift, where when we catch in that clean, you can actually wiggle your fingers and say hello to everybody watching. So our next one, our kettlebell jerk. If you've done dumbbell jerks before, very similar setup, except now we have that kettlebell in that rack position. So Josie's going to go through, we'll swing that bell up, catching our clean, shooting our hands through, and then we want that elbow to connect with our hip bone, where we're going to dip down, hip bone and elbow are going to connect, we're going to use that to drive that kettlebell up, catching that second dip, come up to standing. When we have the kettlebell up top, we want to think about letting the weight drop instead of carrying the weight down. So it's going to drop to my shoulder, bend the knees to cradle and catch, and then again, first dip, connect with the hip bone, up overhead, stop those heels down, and then up to standing. So Josie's going to go through her kettlebell single arm jerk. Please bring it up to the shoulder. And we dip down, yeah, just like that. So unlike our traditional dumbbell or barbell, instead of hips shooting back, we're actually sitting down more into a squat with your knees tracking forward. Good, and then straight up overhead. Good. Wonderful. And those with kettlebells, because they have this different shift of our gravity, you might start to find if you're traditionally jumping for your jerk. You want to go on your toes now and just extend up. That helps keep that balance on the floor while you press up overhead. Good. That's much better. Yes. One of the most challenging ones when you're used to barbells and dumbbells is switching to the jerks. So when we're going to switch sides. Okay. That's the fun part about kettlebell sport, sport is just learning all the different things. So try the left one. Snatch, it's important 
that uses a lot of momentum compared to dumbbells. We want that second arm to trail with us. We swing through all the way up overhead. Compared to dumbbells, we're using more momentum, so we're not going to pull straight up in front of the body. And then the half part is we drop to the shoulder, just like our jerk, and then bring the bell through for that swing up overhead again. Many times when people for the snatch, and Josie might feel it too for the first one here, that bell's always thunking. As we pull through, I swing up. I want to think about driving my hand to meet that bell before it meets me. So up. Good. Up and then we'll drop to the shoulder first, and then we'll do this like that. Perfect. So for Josie to get started, we were a bit at the top where she has to press it up. So I want her to think about squeezing through her left glute, driving it up towards so her arm can extend. Almost like you're going from a cooked spaghetti noodle to an uncooked spaghetti noodle. Perfect. position where we like to hang out again. That elbow's trying to connect with the hip bone. Feet stay planted, we dip in the knees, drive that kettlebell up overhead. Catch on the shoulder. Again, we're letting the weight fall down to us instead of using that force to bring it down. Dip at the knees, up overhead. Try to keep those heels planted like you have a nail on the back of your shoes. So just as we go, have that kettlebell at arm's length in front of her, swing between the legs and clean to catch. Good, elbow connects with the hip bone, and we keep the heels down, bend the knees and drive that up, up. Awesome, just like that. Bend the knees, up. Good, two more on this side. Two, awesome, now she'll switch to the other side. Good, bring the elbow in towards the hip, yeah. that we can practice with kettlebell sport. This one again is that pentathlon style, one of the competitions you can do, but a great way to learn and get into movement with the kettlebell steel sports belts. 